All right, let's go. I had a bit of a quad dominant leg day today. Hamstrings aren't really a focus for me. Y'all know that already. They're pretty well developed. They could have a bit more quality on it. But a quad focused leg day today and I start off with barbell squats as usual. Before we get to that, I'm gonna explain why I had to draw back a bit on my leg training and pretty much work my way back up to where I was at again. So over Christmas, I went home. And training was good and everything, but I had a lack of sleep for some consecutive days and I was gonna go train legs, felt good, energized, warmed up. And I was on my last warm-up set, on the last rep of the warm-up set. And for some reason, on the way down, I lost focus on my technique. When I was coming up on the way up, something in my back just pulled, bro. It was um, pretty weird. I finished the rep, racked the weight, and at that point I just started thinking, fuck, literally that was my first thought, fuck. I racked the weight, had a C start to think, like dang, what just happened, you know? I don't know what it was, something just pulled uh, at the bottom of my back, and for some reason, I kept training, cause I knew that if I could bend over, pause, if I could bend over, that um, I'd, be, I'd be fine. So I actually did one more set of squats. It felt fine, a bit painful, but the fact that I was able to do one more set of squats and continue my leg day was a good indication. So I knew it was just something small, but something serious at the same time. A little warning sign to let me know you need to catch up on sleep and do these things properly and don't take it for granted. Anyway, that lasted for about a week, week and a half. The pain just subsided each and every single day. I just tried to rehab my back and stretch it out and roll it out so I can get back to where I was as quickly as possible, right? That was done. And by the time I got back home, I was ready to start squatting again. So about a couple of weeks ago, I started squatting again. Started at 130 again, like I did in the beginning of the program. Just took everything from the basics from scratch. And now I'm back at 145, as y'all see here on screen. Everything's starting to feel lighter and I feel like I'm getting a lot more strength and stamina as well. Due to my weight gain, of course. In my opinion, that's what it is. The weight gain's like giving me a bit extra power. Um, now I'm doing 12 reps for 145, so it's kind of cool to see uh, how I've progressed, even though I had to regress a little bit. Really cool to see that. I think I am gonna try and stay between the 140, 160 region. 160 might be pushing it. I don't wanna do three sets of 10 reps of 160 kilos and fine but I want to have quality and tempo on it so we'll see what happens because right now I'm in a really good sweet spot where it's hard but it's not too hard because I don't want to be putting on way too much volume and I can't finish everything <coughs> Next, I had 60 squats. I had four, yeah, four sets. Again, I feel my strength and my stamina starting to grow and get better and better. I'm starting to add a bit more weight, a bit more reps on my sets. So that's really good. I was gonna do hack squats, but I decided against it because I started to feel my back a bit. And um, yeah, just being smart. Don't put too much volume and like don't fix what ain't broke. You know what I mean? Like if I know I can do 60 squats and not kill my back, then I'm gonna choose that over hack squats every single time. But today's focus was to just get down and stretch in a slower manner than I usually would. Slow stretch on the way down and explode up. It's pretty simple. Um, really hard if y'all see me uh, grimacing on the last few reps, cause yeah, man, at this point, my quads were really, really pumped. I might try to find some other versions of 60 squats that I can do instead of just those. I've been doing those for a while. I love them, but if there's another alternative, I might just have to try that instead. And speaking of other alternatives, up next is leg extensions. On the video, at least. In between the leg extensions, I actually had calf raises and tibia raise in a superset. I don't really need to record that. That's not anything for me to, for y'all to see. Maybe I might start recording it. Who knows? But right now, um, I'm not really interested in recording that. Like I was saying, I had leg extensions up next, uh, four sets, and I actually had one of the other gym members, a bit more seasoned uh, a veteran bodybuilder, came up to me and showed me a new technique today. Basically, what I did was I took and pulled the chair back a bit more and did the same thing I was doing, but the difference here is that when I'm on the way down, 
or at the bottom position have a lot more stretch in my quads and I can fill them up with a lot of blood and it makes things a lot harder and you feel the reps a lot more than you would if you would have the chair forward. So usually what my focus is is to have my my butt pressed up against the pad so that I can squeeze as much as possible. But now I add in another dimension where I pull the seat back, the lever on the seat, pull it back, sit back and have my legs really stretched, my butt as far as possible into the part into the pad and I still squeeze at the top as well. He also showed me a few other tips and tricks that I'm definitely gonna use going forward. A whole bunch of different sensations that I haven't felt in a while while using leg extensions and they all made sense so that's why it's good to speak to people and open up and have them give you tips that you necessarily wouldn't get if you're just have your earbuds in and not speak to anybody and speak to people that have more experience than you and can um, can always give you something to learn. When I'm in the gym I'm always trying to learn from others, people that have more experience than me or just someone that can show me something new that can work for me. And that's why it's good to be open to people in the gym because sometimes they might have the exact thing that you need so that you can progress and get better and he just showed me something that I know it's gonna really, really raise the level on my quads and get more quality in them, because that's what I'm looking for, right? I think I might have gone a bit off topic there, but, you know, or am I dropping nuggets? I don't know, one of the two. Low-key dropping nuggets on y'all, but hope they don't go unnoticed. Still going off topic. But anyway, on the leg extensions, I had four working sets where I, um, or two of them I did what I usually do, and then the last two I put the lever, or I pulled the lever on the back pad and pulled the chair back. Did that, and then I had a couple extra sets where my guy was showing me some other tips and tricks that I'll show y'all later. Anyway, I hope y'all got something out the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all understood that sometimes. I hope y'all understood that sometimes having to regress doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing because that regression I had with the squats has pretty much helped me to progress even more with my squats and my strength and stamina like just paying attention to different things go ahead watch another video I'll put one up here and one here for y'all to enjoy and I'll see you on the next one